Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another episode of SnowRunner. So today we need to get the solar panel station up and running. First things first, we need to get these metal beams to the solar panel station. And then once we do that, we need to get solar panels to the uh, solar panel station. But those are locked away right now, so it's not tell us where we have to go to get those. So we'll have to get these metal beams back there first before we can figure out where these solar panels are. And I'm really interested to see uh, where they are, what they are, uh, how big they're going to be, and what we're going to need to bring these back. So we're going to use the same shortcut that we have been using um, that you've seen us have so much trouble with in the last video. But we got it all straightened out there. We got those rocks taken care of, and uh, yeah, it shouldn't be that big of a deal. Now, one thing I'm kind of bummed about, the White Western Star that we were using last time is not here. <laughs> uh, I logged back into the game and the truck was just gone, so maybe it's getting updated in the mod browser. This is not like Farming Simulator, where if you have... Oh, we should probably put on our drive. If you have a mod... You always have it, even if they take it off the, the mod browser, you can still have it. In this game, if they take it out of the mod browser, then you actually lose it in-game as well, which is unfortunate because I was really enjoying that truck. But we got something, I think, just as good here. So we have the Royal BM-17 by JBE, which he is a fantastic modder. He does really nice stuff. As you can see, this uh, truck looks really good. We have some wicked suspension on it. No problems there. We got some good tires. And yeah, so... We're going to go the rest of the way here because... I've brought you guys through this uh, this trail many times. In the last video, there's no need to see it again. So I'll catch back up to you guys when I deliver these metal beams. And then we can find out where these solar panels actually are. Alright, so we are almost at our destination, and I can say, man, this, this truck, <laughs> it, uh, it gets the job done, but it is a dog. It is truly just a dog. It, uh, it is slow. <laughs> it is not that fast at all, but she gets the job done, so we're not going to complain too much. But here we are. So we could drop off the metal beams to get the first part of this job done anyway. Okay, we'll unload those. Now let's see where we have to go to get these solar panels. Ah, uh, delivered to the solar panel station. Ooh, you know... Okay, I, th I think I know where that is, actually. Is that the way we just came from? It is the way we just came from. Um, so, we're going to need a crane for those. Um, and, you know what? Possibly use that trailer. So, I don't think this might be the... Uh, hmm. I don't know if this is going to be the vehicle for the job. We have others to choose from. So let's uh, let's take this back to the garage. Let's sell this trailer. And let's see what we have that we can grab those solar panels with. All right, guys. So this is the beast that we're going to use to haul those. Now, you can see we don't have a uh, crane on here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get this down there. And then we're going to bring another truck down there to uh, kind of rescue it, get the uh, get a crane. I think that'll be the best way to go by a little. So let's start this up and let's see what this sounds like. All right, very nice. Ah. All right, so let's get this down there and I'll catch up with you guys. When we are, we'll uh, try to flip over that trailer. I hope I have the right 
fifth wheel on here, but uh, we'll uh, we'll figure that out. Like I said, I hope I have it all set up right. But we're going to get down there. We're going to flip that trailer over. We're going to hook that up. And then we're going to get another truck down there to actually put the solar panels on. All right, here we are. So I'm going to have to get in position here to pull this up. I will say this, this truck, I'm not crazy about it. <laughs> For the simple reason, it's uh, it's very bouncy, very bouncy. Um, where? That okay? Okay. So the good news is, I think I definitely picked the right fifth wheel. Hmm. I'm going to have to be very careful in bringing this thing back, though. Because, like I say, th this truck is... Ooh, that hurt. It's very freaking bouncy. Try to just position this here. And not get stuck. Oh, that'll work. Okay. Just knock that birch tree right down. Okay, take it easy. Take it easy and line this up correctly here. I don't know if we'll be close enough, but let's see. Nope. Ah, I thought so. Ah, god damn it. too far away. Oh, gosh. There we go. Now we got it. And let's see. Let's try to back it up a little bit here. I just want to straighten it up a bit. All right, I think that looks pretty good. Not gonna lie, I really wish I had Puppy Master's uh, wrecker, but oh well. All right, so let's shut that truck off. I'm gonna go grab the other truck, guys. Come back, load this up, and then we'll be on our way to finishing this mission. All right, so we're back down here, and we got the Ford pickup with us. Now, this is probably gonna be a little bit tricky, I would feel, because the water is pretty fast moving, so we're going to have to stick to the shallows. Mm, yeah, this is what I was afraid of. It's just taking us. Come on, if we can get onto the land. Oh, boy. This, uh, this may not have been a great... Nope, this was a bad idea. Oh boy. Back to the drawing board, I guess. <laughs> As we just float down the river here. All right, guys, so after that uh, disaster <laughs> that we had in the river with the Ford, um, we went back and we picked up a different Ford and it's kind of crazy, guys, because I come back into the game after having dinner and stuff, and this Ford is back, and the White Western Star is back. I don't, I don't own either one of them. I mean, I own this one now. I had to rebuy it, and uh, same thing with the White Western Star. I had to rebuy it, but they are back, so <laughs> that's uh, that's pretty cool. Hopefully, this will be better. Um, you know, oh god. Are you serious right now? What is going on with this game right now? Um. I cannot. Okay, yeah, that's why. 
Come on. This is a little ridiculous. Um, hmm. This is a lot bigger of a truck. I thought we wouldn't have any problems. But uh, I guess this water is just a little faster than I thought. So let's let's see what we can do here. Let's uh, let's activate the anchor and um wait a minute operate. Haha! <laughs> How do we? Wait a minute. How do we get the uh, controls for? How do we get the controls up for this crane? I don't understand what's going on here. Is this game just completely bugged? Restore crane. Um. We're back again. So, okay, I don't quite remember this, but apparently, if you press L1 and square, <laughs> that activates that. Um, like I said, I maybe I just forgot how to do it. Maybe they changed it. I don't really know, but uh, anyway, it's working now. And oh god, let's stabilize this because. This is not stabilized at all. Which one is it? There we go. Um, hmm, you know what? I'm almost wondering if I even need the big truck. I don't know. I don't know if I need it or not, actually. I mean, I guess we could use it. But, uh, I don't know. I don't think we're going to need to. I think... I think we may just use that. So let's uh, activate the anchor. Let's pack that cargo down. Um, back this stuff. I think the last one is going to be tricky. Like I say, that's yeah, that's a really big trailer for this. I don't think we need anything that massive. <laughs> Um, can I get this a little more level? Okay, let's, uh, let's do that. There we go. Let's switch this, let me get this in here. I mean... That might be the safest route putting it on the big truck, but, uh, yeah, I don't know. Let's see if we can't... Get this one to drop? I don't think we are. Let's do that there. And then we'll, uh, unpack and then repack. There we go. Restore the crane. And the other one's way over there. Hmm. Yeah, I mean... I don't want to tip this. These are not in a good spot. These are not in a good spot, to say the least. Um, boy. You know... God, we've come this far. God, 
Come on, baby. Make the turn. Make the turn. You know, guys, we've come this far. I've already made this trip many times already that you guys haven't seen. So maybe we will just uh, bring this back and then come back for the one. Because honestly, I don't know... I don't know how we would do this. Um, you know what? Let's, uh... Let's move this up here. Out of the way. Let's see if we can change trucks. Yeah, all right. Let's see if we can't pull this guy forward. Oof. That just hurts every time I hear it. So let's see here. Could I pull alongside? I, you know what? I think I could pull alongside right here. Okay, we're a little too far, so I'm gonna have to do it this way. So yeah, I think uh, I think we can pull alongside. Um, and deliver this. <laughs> Deliver it, not deliver it. Just uh, convert it from here to there. Ooh. That just hurts so much, man. Ouch. Yeah, I think this is a good spot, actually. Okay. Sweet. There we go. And let's unpack the cargo. Three little crates, man. That's it. There's three little crates we have to get. There we go. Okay, let's uh, restore the crane. And let's slide back down here. And get that last one. I don't know how difficult this last one is going to be. Um, I don't want to do that. You know, if we had that bandit crane, we'd have a lot better reach. But we don't. So I'm going to have to try to figure out how to get over there? Oh gosh! Huh. Back it up might not have been the uh, the best way to go about this here. Um, it looks like the water gets shallow. But oh, gosh, I don't know, man. No, we can't get over that rock. I guess. Uh, I want to use one of the bigger cranes, but I don't have those unlocked yet. I don't. I'm not at the uh, the proper ranking. Oh, oh, oh! Wait, wait, wait! This is a little shallow spot. Okay, perfect. Perfect. Do that. Put those anchors out. Try to steady us somewhat. Luckily, we just have one, so it shouldn't it shouldn't be too heavy. We should be able to get this pretty good. Let's do that. Ease it up a bit. Use the winch. There we go. Swing it around. No, I didn't want to... I pressed the L stick too hard and I made the uh, anchors go back in. Did not want to do that. Okay, let's lower this down. Uh... That's okay. 
Let's go back into here and let's pack the cargo. Beautiful. Restore the anchor. And that's shallow water. Um, hmm. I don't want to go back that way. It seems like going right up through the middle here is probably going to be the best idea. Ooh, or not. Wow, that is deep. That is some of the, the deepest water I feel in this game. Um, I don't know. This is the way we came up, though, isn't it? Wait a minute. Let's, uh, let's try to go over this way, I guess. This is a struggle, guys. Not going to lie. We're going to use the winch, because... Screw it. Don't have much of a choice here. Go back over this way. This is some fast moving water right here. This is treacherous. It really is. Let's get to over here. And then this is a nice shallow area. So we'll go right up this way. Never a dull moment in SnowRunner. <laughs> that's uh, that's one of the things I actually love about this game, though. It's challenging even when you don't think it's going to have a challenge, but yeah. Do that. Set those out. And we will unpack the cargo again. Gently set this down on this flatbed trailer. Switch trucks and get this done. There we go. Restore the crane. Shut the engine off. Change trucks. <laughs> and we will pack that cargo down. Okay. Put on the lights, and always on, and away we go, guys. So like I say, this truck, though, is just severely bouncy, like incredibly. I'm not a big fan of this. Let's see here. Am I going to be able to get it, this trailer through here? I got it through here the first time, so I should. This is a pretty... Big, powerful truck. Oh, man. That sounds so bad. Yeah, we got it through there like nothing. All right, we're on our way. To get these solar panels back to where they belong. You know, I'm interested to know how the hell they even got out there, you know? Did, did uh... Apparently someone... Tip that trailer. That's that'd be my guess. They were probably on this flatbed, and uh, someone didn't make it through that river crossing, and they flipped the whole rig. They probably managed to get the truck out of there, but maybe they just said to hell with it and left the uh, the solar panels behind. I don't know, but it was our job to get them, and we managed to do it. Now we just have to get back in one piece. All right, so here we are. Final destination. Time to drop these solar panels off. There we go. One, two, and three. Three out of four? Wait. Pardon me? <laughs> oh. I thought there was only three. 
Okay. Oh, oh boy, this game, man, I tell you. All right, so we are not done. We have to get these solar panels here. Now, our other truck is right here, the slugger. So, hmm. I guess we can hop in that. I wonder if we could go right up the coast here to get those. Throw them in this truck and bring them all the way back. I guess that's kind of what we're going to have to do. Alright, so this is, I guess, part of the end of this journey here. You know, every time I get into uh, doing a SnowRunner video, um... It never ceases to amaze me what's going to happen. You just never know, man. That's part of what I really love about the game. Like, for instance, this here mission, I had no idea that it was going to be this, uh, this much of a pain in my rear end. But here we are. <laughs> man, this thing is really tippy, huh? Here we are working our way down the riverbank here looking for one last crate of solar panels that we can deliver and get this job done finally. You know, it's funny because like back in the day when I was uh, a younger version of myself, I guess, a game like this, I would actually have no patience for. I would just be like, nope, I'm not going back. I'm not doing this all over again. But, uh, you know, I, I find as I get older, I'm, uh, I'm getting a little more patience for things like this. And, you know, just learning, I, I guess, how to enjoy it. <laughs> Luckily for you guys, you don't have to see the whole thing. I edited it all out. <laughs> There's, man, these videos would be so long if I left in all the uh, the back and forth trips, especially that we made today. Boy, this is taking me forever to just record this video, but we're here and we have fuel over there, so that's nice. And we're sinking in the mud, or the soft sand, rather. Okay. So this is the final one. It seems like I always say this in a sort of video, but I am so happy to see <laughs> this is the last one and I'll be even more happier when we get it all delivered and we can cross this job off our list. Let's get that in there. There we go. And we'll restore the crane. We'll pack the cargo. Uh, let's see. Oh, I didn't have the parking brake on. That's not like me. I normally put the parking brake on. But uh, let's see if we can't refuel here. We don't really need to, but it's there, so... Better safe than sorry, I say. Fuel up. There we go. And I don't want to hit that sign because I've had some very strange things happen with uh, signs on this map. Now, I believe this is going to be the long way around, but that's all right. The job's got to get done, man. It's got to get done. You know, it was my mistake, my error. I didn't look. For some reason, I thought it was only three. I really did. And, uh... Yeah, so that's that's what happens when you just don't pay attention, I guess.
so we are almost home free. We're pretty much where we have to be. It wasn't that bad of a trip. Ooh. He says as he just almost tips the truck over. <laughs> uh, what? We, uh, we managed to save it. Okay, here we go. We're on home stretch. Right at the end of this road. We can drop this off. You know, it just occurred to me. I bet you I'm going to have to move that. I bet you we're going to have to move our other truck there. Yeah, it is right in. Well, maybe I can sneak in beside it. Yeah, let's try that. I think this will work. Yeah, we can get right next to this here. And with that, that should be the end of it. Beautiful. All right. 950 XP, 7500 dollars. And you know what guys? I forgot all about it. I've been saying that the XP doesn't matter, but this is a new save. This is a, a new save game. I am not max level in this one, so that XP is very much needed. I can't use the big crane. I, I should be able to use the big cranes now. I think I unlocked them. But uh, yeah, I was not at the level, so 7500 cash, 950 XP. The job is done. I am super happy about that. I, I couldn't be happier uh, if, if I'm uh, telling the truth here. So what do we have? Go take a look real quick. So we have Bad Take. What is Bad Take? One of our sponsors wanted to film their ad here. But something went wrong. The gear is assured, but someone would need to fix up the track itself. I thought you would be just the person we need for the job. Okay, so deliver to the workshop. Atega, a Voron, and to the depot, we have to deliver a Chevy Scout. So the Taiga is way up over there. The Voron is over there. And the Chevy is the one that's on the actual track. All right, so that's a pretty interesting one, guys. That's what we're going to tackle next time. Um, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, smash that like button for me. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already subscribed. I'm going to drop in the description a link to my Discord. Guys, join the Discord. You know, we got some people in there, but nobody is very active. We need some more active people. We need to get this community rocking and rolling here. So join the Discord. Come chat. Yeah, it's a good time. I'm... I'm in there all the time. I'm always monitoring it. You know, anybody that talks in there, I'm very approachable. You know, we got some good people in there that are in there that, that they do like to chat as well. So do that. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. And we will see you next time.